वेलकम बैक एज ए पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो विल अंडरस्टैंड द डेटा वैलिडेशन अप्रोचेस इन ईटीएल टेस्टिंग एज ए पार्ट ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी अंडरस्टूड डिफरेंट वैलिडेशंस ऑफ डेटा वेरोस टेस्टिंग सो व्हेन विल द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वैलिडेशंस कम इनटू पिक्चर वंस द डेटा इज ट्रांसफॉर्म and loaded into the data warehouse then the validations come into picture so when we talk about etl validations what exactly is the common approach in data validation it's very simple right in most of the cases we are comparing the source data with the target data so we'll apply the transformation on the source data and compare that with the target data that is the most common approach in the etl testing data validation but when we talk about the sources we know the data is extracted from different sources if i ask you a question will we extract the data from only one type of data source not really we'll extract the data from different types of sources it can be a file it can be a database then we'll extract the data transform it and load from different sources so when we extract the data from different sources will the validation approach would be same if the source is database if the source is file not really the validation approach would differ if the source is database and if the source is file if the source is rdbms what are the different types of questions we have to ask to lead us to the different validation scenarios in turn validation approaches so we have to ask are they on the same rdbms database like oracle our sql server are they in the same database server one is whether they are of the same rdbms the second thing is if they are of the same rdbms or different rdbms are they installed on the same database server the third aspect would be as a tester do we have access to both source and target tables we have to think about all these aspects based on all these permutations and combinations we'll have some scenarios so to carry out the validations we may have many scenarios based on the sources whether they are installed on the same server and as a testing team do you have access to the different sources let us look at some scenarios and the common approaches to them so some of the important scenarios based on sources whether these sources are installed in the same server or not and do we have access or not we'll discuss those scenarios one of the very basic scenario is where we have a source and target in a different format for example source may be in a file format but the target would is in a database format that is one of the scenario the second scenario would be source and target are in same format like database tables one more variation would be source and target tables are on the same rdbms database and also same database server one of the example for that is both source and target are on oracle db and both of them are on the same database server with permission to both the tables as i said these scenarios are based on the type of the sources server and access in this scenario we are having the source and target on the same oracle db 
and they are on the same database server the testing team has an access to both the sources the next scenario source and target tables are on the same rdbms database with testing team having permissions to both source and target for example assuming that source and target are on oracle but on different database servers in the earlier scenario oracle db was on the same database server but in this case it is on the different database servers with permission to both the sources like testing team would have a access to source and target as well the next scenario is source and target tables are on the same rdbms but testing team do not have permissions this is one of the scenario example for this is let us say source and target table is in oracle db but on a different database server with no permission to source db the testing team has a permission to the target db but the testing team do not have a permission to source db this is one of the scenario the next scenario is source and target tables are on different database types means in the earlier scenario it was on the same rdbms type but in this scenario the source and target tables are on different rdbms types example for this is source is oracle db and the target is db2 testing team has permission to both the sources then the next scenario is source and target tables are on different rdbms databases with no permission it this scenario is same as earlier except that the testing team do not have a permission to source db awesome we understood different validation scenarios based on source where it is installed and also whether testing team has access or not thank you mm -hmm.